Well, Year 12 exam stuff ups are not the only problem schools are facing. Check out this line from the Australian, this headline from the Australian newspaper over the weekend. Oz classroom chaos sends teachers to self-defence classes. The article goes on to say terrified teachers are having to take self-defence lessons as violent students use chairs, water bottles and scissors as weapons in unruly classrooms. It goes on to say that uh, teachers are taking lessons in blocking kicks and punches and how to escape a student who's got you by the hair. Now, it seems to me we're, we're kind of missing the point here. If we've got problems with unruly students to the point that uh, they're becoming violent towards teachers in classrooms, surely the answer is not self-defence lessons mm. for teachers. Oh, well, we fixed that. You know, Mrs Wilson in biology, she knows how to block a punch. <laughs> She's Play a black belt now. No She'll be fine. Doesn't this indicate a much deeper problem with the education system than a lack of, you know, uh, fighting uh, skills from teachers? Well, for many years now, kids have been... We've stopped treating them like kids. Yeah. Once upon a time, seen and not heard was a rule of law and you had to respect your elders. When I was in school, there was still such a thing as a paddle. Uh -huh. You could be disciplined. It was state-sanctioned. It was all OK. And that struck the fear of God did into those kids. Did you ever get the kids. paddle? No, I never did. I got I it did once. at home, though. But um, <laughs> that was probably why I was so well-behaved at school. But no, because you respected your teachers. You would never act out, especially in such a physical way. And those that did knew that they were in for a hell of a time in terms of punishment. Their parents would be notified. It, it would all go around school, etc., and so on. But what we're talking about now is teachers facing mob rule mm. from their own classrooms. Because for years now, these kids know you can't even touch me, mm. not even to restrain me. You can't grab my wrist and overpower me. Well, and they're, I'll make and they're something filming with their phones it. too. Oh, absolutely. To use it as evidence against. Absolutely. This article, Caleb, said that um, new teachers only last in the system about three to four years before they're typically resigning, and they're resigning not because of pay, not because of uh, any dissatisfaction with the job per se, but because of student behaviour. Yeah, because you can't enforce anything in the classroom. There, there hasn't been discipline for years, mm, and the, the problem helpless. with that is that discipline creates respect. And if you don't... If these kids don't have respect for their teachers, they don't understand that in the hierarchy of things they are at the bottom and the teachers are on the top, yeah. then you can't control the students. And, and I always think about... I had this teacher in Year 6, uh, Mrs London. If you're watching tonight, Mrs London, you were one of my favourite teachers ever. But I remember in Year 5 being told I was going to go into Mrs London's class in Year 6... Uh, and she was a fearsome character, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone knew she had a reputation. She would lay down the law. And if you fell on the wrong side of it, well, you'd bloody well hear about it. And so I sort of had this fear struck in me. My God, I'm going to have this Mrs London. She turned out to be the best teacher yeah. I ever mm -hmm. had, I think, because she respected the students and the students respected her. They knew that if they fell foul, they were going to cop an earful. And they copped an earful in front of everyone else and we all enjoyed it thoroughly. It was like entertainment, right? But the, the respect she had for the students and the time she put into them was repaid to her by the students tenfold because they knew where they stood. And that's what we've lost now. Do you remember at the United Nations when a teenage schoolgirl with ponytails from Sweden stood there and she told the leaders of the world how dare you? And we blurred this line between children and adults. 100%. And then we wonder why we've got chaos. And then the adults in the room are the other ones, only ones going, uh, is it just me or do you just want this annoying kid who knows absolutely nothing to shut up?